In this video, we're going to show you how to road trip with your dog. Step number one is to tire them out so they sleep as much as they can the first part of the road trip. Ready? Hopefully Cody gets a zoomie. Oh, oh, side through. Oh. We are driving all the way from Florida to Maine. This is about a 27 hour drive. In the car ride, we have a couple of toys that we know that she loves. We also have treats, a mud buster, because sometimes Coda's paws get dirty, so she just sticks her little paw in here. We have a little water bowl for her. This one's a collapsible one that we got her for her birthday. One of those hard bones that takes her like at least an hour to finish. These are our necessities. We always have extras, but this is what we bring in our go bag. We also have Coda's bed, which we put in the back seat. She loves it. Time has come. We're starting our road trip home. Coda gets the whole entire back bench seat. Plenty of room to lay out because she's gotten so much bigger. She also has the Thunder Wonders Calming Twos for Dogs. They have ginger to help her calm down. They're useful for common stressful situations like thunder, fireworks, separation, travel, and grooming. So these have worked. Our first stop of our road trip is literally only five minutes after we left. Bree's at Costco getting some snacks. Coda is just sprawled out, relaxing. Brianna, what'd you get? I got the snacks. They're not really for you, but again. I hopped in the back with Coda. She's not really enjoying it right now. And this is a really great tip. Your dog is not enjoying it. Sometimes they just need the comfort of mom or dad to hang out with them in the back. And she's already doing a little bit better. Don't be afraid if your dog is not 100% into it right away. We are planning on doing something like this. Kind of just got to ease them into it. We called our vet and we gave her 50 milligrams of Benadryl to hopefully just make her a little bit more sleepy. Trying to do something like this, call your vet and make sure and just double check with them that it's okay. Time for some treats. Go ahead, Brenda. Oh, he's super good. Treats really help with positive reinforcement in the car. Polly, do you have any tips for us as the chauffeur? I have a few tips. When you're driving, I have been in the middle lane, cruise control on 76. You want to avoid a lot of foot movements, slamming on the brakes, jerking the car. That's just going to make your experience with the dog 10 times worse. Smooth ride equals happy pup and girlfriend. Driving, making our first stop. We like to stop every three or four hours so she could do her business. It's my turn to sit with the baby girl. It's always a good idea to switch up who's next to her because, you know, she likes dad better. She did not drink outside. I don't know why. In the comfort of her own space. Stop number two, we stopped at a Publix with a really nice grass area for this little girly. Right out of Jacksonville, Florida. There they go, there they go. What? Look at that giraffe. Look at that little girl, she's crazy. Our third stop of the night and where we're sleeping for tonight, a hotel. Best Western, you do have to be prepared for pet fees. Here at Best Western is only $35. That's not the bed. What do you think? What do you think? For tonight, we got a king size bed because Coda takes up the whole entire bed. So obviously the bigger the bed, the more room for Coda. Exactly. Ow. That's why we don't always stay in hotels. <laughs> oh well. And that wraps up night one here in Georgia. Today's the start of day two on the road. How to road trip with your dog. You give her lots of love in the morning. Hi, Bree. Now it's time for Bray to get Coda's breakfast ready. So while I get the food ready, Polly is going crazy with her, so she gets kind of tired. So we redid the back seat to where we think she might be a little bit more comfortable today. Just kind of extends the seat out and she has a full bed. Here's Polly and Coda. Hi, Booby. Hi, Booby. Leaving Georgia, hopefully making it to Virginia. What do you think about a bone today? For you. Our first stop is in North Carolina. Hi, Coda. So now we're gonna fill up, go to the bathroom, let Coda go to the bathroom, get back on the road. Hi, princess. Potty run number what, six? Thank you so much, you too. We've arrived, Coda. This is our stay for the night, Best Western Plus in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's so special. So I just got back from Walmart, got us some waters, and you always get your dog a toy to make them happy. Good girl. Aww. <laughs>
Is that a new toy? Oh, that's so nice, Coda. That wraps up this seven hour day of driving. Coda, what do you say? Ready to go to bed? Good night, see you bright and early. And just like that, six in the morning, we're headed home for a good day. A Little bit less than 24 hours, we'll be back on the road. Continuing up all the way to Maine. Coda, how you doing back there? This is our first stop of the morning. We made it to a Royal Farms here in Maryland. The benefit of having two people is that I get to stay with Coda and Brie gets to run inside, get some water, some snacks, go to the bathroom. If you only have one person, it's a little sketchy leaving your pet in the car by themselves, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You saw the bird? <gasps> what do you see, Coda? Only about another three and a half hours to go. I'm back and we're on the way to Polly's mom's house in New York. Oh, thank you, Coda. <laughs> what is that, Coda? Does not like the shine. We made it to Polly's mom's house. We are made walking it. in. Hi. What are you doing? You got both doors. What are you doing? Her head's up high. Look at her. <laughs> She's <perfect. laughs> That was hilarious. What are you doing, big girl? Say hi, Grandma. Hi. Leaving Grandma's house in New York. Now we're going back up to Connecticut for the night. Go, 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 go! Oh, little baby, she's ready. And we're ready to go home. See you later, New York, bye! We made it to grandparents' house number two. I don't think they're home yet, so we might not actually see them until tomorrow, but we are finally here and we have a full 24 hour break before we head on the road again to Maine. Come on! Ready? 800 pound dog. One of the reasons why we came home for 24 hours is because it's someone's birthday. Mine. It is Bree's birthday. How old are you today, Bree? 74. <laughs> oh, okay. God, it's mom's birthday. Happy birthday. Today's a fun packed day. We're gonna hang out with the family, hang out with friends. We're going out tonight and then tomorrow morning, that's when we continue our road trip all the way up to Maine. And just like that, we are back on the road, heading up to Maine. Six hours to go. Are you ready to go, little bug? Ready, auntie? There you go, Coda. Good job. Look at little Coda. Ready? <laughs> and the jeeps. You're so soft. Bye. When you have little time in between traveling, you forget stuff. What if we forget? Coda's food. So where are we now? Petco. Getting you more food, Coda. There are so many products here. I beats me on where it is. Literally the last one left. Got the food. Probably gonna get her a little treat. And then we have another what? Three, three and a half hours up to Maine. What is it? Is that for you? Oh, good girl. We made it to Maine! And it's freezing, but it's awesome. My whole family's here. Where's my lift ticket? <laughs> Hopefully this video has made you feel confident enough that you can bring your dog just like we do and we gave you some helpful tips Because they deserve to go on vacation too. Bye guys!